Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Lincoln Link ISG Max. Now you might remember about six months ago we looked at the ISG. Well, the Lincoln Link team have been listening to their customer base and are being very busy improving their product. As such, they have bought us the ISG Max, which improves on the still available ISG. Although at $20 extra for the Max, I can't see anybody buying the ISG over the Max. In this video, we'll go through what the ISG platform is, what are the differences between the ISG and the ISG Max, the hardware that's included in the ISG Max, the integration options, and a roundup with a conclusion as to whom should consider purchasing the ISG Max and why. This video will not be a hands-on as it was extensively covered in the ISG video before, since essentially the ISG Max is the ISG with improved CPU and integrated Zigbee radio, so I don't see the point in rehashing the content. If you'd like to see the functionality of the ISG, then check out the video in the pop-up above. So let's dive on into the world of the internet super gateway and take it to the max. The Lincoln Link ISG is an advanced all-in-one smart home gateway that builds upon its predecessor, the ISG. If we visualize this in a block diagram, first we have the ISG, which is basically an Android based tablet that runs the ISG software. For communications, it has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and Zigbee. And if used with eHub or eRemote, adds RF and IR communication protocols. Running next to the ISG software are two containers. The first container has Home Assistant. And since this is Home Assistant running in a container, you can't run add-ons. So the Lincoln Link engineers built a second container that runs the Home Assistant add-on store. Now this is not the full add-on store, but contains virtually everything and is constantly expanding. Now a word of caution, these are proprietary versions of Home Assistant and the add-on store so that they are specially built and pushed out by Lincoln Link, who have committed to push these out at every significant build version, and which are provided over the air. So it shouldn't be an issue, but you should be aware of this. So the ISG acts as a totally standalone control environment, which is powerful in its own right, but also synchronizes with Home Assistant. Anything added to the ISG can be synchronized to Home Assistant and vice versa. So you get the ease of local installation through the ISG and the power of Home Assistant automation straight out of the box. Now there are two extra party tricks that the ISG Max can do. Firstly, if you don't want to run the local version of Home Assistant, then you can also link the ISG to a remote Home Assistant instance, which we demonstrated in the first video. Super handy in case you outgrow the hardware of the ISG and want to move to a Nook or VM version of Home Assistant that's more powerful to meet your needs. And finally, if you're running an ISG Max and have an Android tablet in your home, you can run the ISG Lite application that syncs with the ISG Max. So you get all the functionality and connectivity on any Android tablet connected to your network. Now, if you want a demonstration of the device, then I suggest watching my video on the ISG in the pop-up above. The software principles have not changed. They are just quicker with the new hardware. Next, the thing you are all looking for. So what's changed from the original ISG? Well, I'll keep this really short. Their CPU has increased from four cores to eight cores, hence bringing it in line with other platforms such as the Home Assistant Green. The Zigbee radio has moved from an adapter that used one of the USB ports as you currently have on the Home Assistant Green and bought it inside the device, freeing up that USB port for other uses such as a Z-Wave adapter. The micro USB has changed to a USB-C port and can also now power the device. And all these changes come at a price difference of only 20 American dollars. So you can't complain about the price increase. So now you know what the ISG Max is and what's changed since the ISG, let's look at the hardware in more detail. Well, the ISG Max is a 10 inch bright touchscreen display with a resolution of 1280 by 800 and a built in brightness sensor to adjust the screen brightness for optimal viewing conditions. So you could think of the ISG Max as a home assistant green with a super bright 10 inch screen bolted to the front and a powerful ISG software wrapper around home assistant that can run in a container. Yes, a very super analogy, but I think you get the idea. 
Inside the unit, you get an eight core CPU up from the four cores of the ISG. The RAM remains the same at four gigabytes, along with 32 gigabytes of storage, which falls in line with the competitors such as the Home Assistant Green. Although there is an SD card that allows for additional memory to be added. Connectivity to the unit is provided by a one USB-A and one USB-C, which can be used to power the device, which is a great addition. If you don't wish to use the USB-C to power the unit, then Link and Link include a two amp, five volt USB-A power adapter and a 1.5 meter USB-A to barrel jack plug. Alternatively, the USB-C can be used in conjunction with an optional ethernet adapter, allowing for physical LAN access. Connectivity is provided by dual band Wi-Fi for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz, along with the Zigbee and Bluetooth, and optionally RF and IR when paired with an eHub and eRemote respectively. In the original ISG, the Zigbee connectivity was via a dongle, which took up a USB port. So now they have freed up this and allowed for other connectivity, such as a Z-Wave adapter. This connectivity then supports protocols such as Zigbee and Matter. All of this packed into a screen with a form factor of 257 millimeters wide by 180 millimeters tall by 26 millimeters deep that can be desk mounted with the included stand or wall mounted with a keyhole mount on the back of the unit. One of the ISG's main strengths is its integration with Home Assistant. This integration provides the user with a user-friendly interface while still offering the advanced capabilities of Home Assistant. This can be synchronized to the local or to the remote Home Assistant instant, simplifying the setup process for both novice and experienced users. The ISG Max supports a wide range of smart home devices and can work with popular voice assistants like Amazon Alexa, Google Home and Apple HomeKit. This is achieved via an integration in the voice assistant, hence not requiring the need for Nabucasa to facilitate this natively, which effectively saves you money. Although as a long time Home Assistant fan, I would still support the team and subscribe to Nabucasa, even if I'm not using this functionality. Another significant feature that makes the ISG very appealing is the fact that it supports Toya locally natively. This means no cloud integration or worse, having to go through the painful and technical process of extracting keys from the developer account messages to be able to use Toya local. This alone makes it a very compelling argument. So the Lincoln Link ISG Max, what do I think? Well, it's great that Link and Link have continued to listen to their customers and improved on their design. Although the old ISG was no slouch, the ISG Max with double the cores makes light work of many tasks. The native ISG menus are snappy and Home Assistant performs exceptionally well. The integration between the ISG and Home Assistant now works seamlessly and is very responsive as you would expect and the local Toya integration is virtually instant as it no longer has to go through the cloud. So the question I ask myself for this product is, who is it aimed for and does it provide a value proposition? While I believe it's aimed for an Android user that is new to Home Assistant and wants to explore a local instance of Home Assistant and is very security focused and doesn't want to use any cloud services, then the price and features make sense. But if you're an advanced user, then maybe stick to a standalone Home Assistant instance, unless you use the Link and Link products extensively. The original ISG was priced at 199 American dollars, and the ISG Max comes in at $20 more at 219. Plus you get a $30 discount code. Links in the description below. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, then hit that like button, comment and share. And if you want access to similar material, then subscribe or maybe become a member and get early access to material plus other perks. And if I've helped you make a purchasing decision, then maybe a super thanks or a PayPal donation. It's really appreciated. Until the next one.